All right, so today we're going to do a conservation of momentum problem involving collisions. We've got here a softball and a baseball, and they're going to run into each other. So we got somebody, I don't know, they're, they're maybe making one of those trick shot videos. They throw the softball, and then after they throw the baseball a little faster, and they want it to hit the softball. And we're going to do a calculation to see what happens. Okay. So let's say at the beginning, the baseball has an initial speed of 20 meters per second to the right, softball 12 meters per second also to the right, and we've got their respective masses for each of these kinds of balls. And then they collide in the center, and we find out, or we measure, we know that the softball is now speeding up because it got hit in the back. It's going to be going faster. It's actually going now. Uh, 16 meters per second to the right. And what we're going to try and find out is what's the velocity of the baseball at the end of this problem. Now we should imagine it probably slowed down because it hit the other ball and the other one sped up. And that's what we're going to find out here in just a bit. But we're going to start off by using conservation of momentum. We're going to say the momentum at the beginning is going to be equal to the momentum at the end. Those two are going to be equal. Let's get started with that. So now we have our equation. We've got that the momentums are the same, and here the initial momentum of the baseball plus the initial momentum of the softball is going to be equal to the final momentum of the baseball plus the final momentum of the softball. And we're going to plug in some of the numbers that we know, but before we do, I want to identify what we're looking for. We're looking for the final velocity of the baseball. That's this one. And every other term in here we actually know. We know both the masses. We know all of the velocities except for that one. So we got an equation with just one unknown. So once we plug everything in, it's just algebra. Let's go. So there we go. Everything plugged in. And we're just going to go through, combine some like terms, add everything together, subtract some stuff, solve it. If you wanted to, actually, if I was doing this on my own, I probably would have just solved this equation straight off the bat for VDF. But we're not going to do that right now, but you could go ahead and do that pretty easily before writing all the numbers in, and then it's a whole lot less that you have to write. But let's give it a go. So going through the rest of the algebra, we see we've got to combine our like terms, bring this, the, the momentum of the softball over to the other side, and then once it's over here all combined, we just have to divide by the mass. And once we got it all said and done, we find that the velocity of the baseball is going to be 14.48 meters per second. It's going to be following behind the softball a little bit slower. Now I want us to look at this problem with one other uh, variable involved. And this is, what if the person who was running this video, somebody pranked him, put some super glue on one of these balls before, uh, while it was going through the air, so that when they hit, these two balls actually stuck to each other. So what would that change? How would this situation be different? So I've redrawn some of this. We know now they're actually stuck together, moving together. And so there's some extra things we can do about this. And so far the equation looks pretty similar, and the left-hand side stays exactly the same, because the initial conditions are not any different. We are going to have to investigate this on the right-hand side, and rather than looking just for the, the velocity of the baseball, we're actually looking for the combined velocity of both of them. And those are equal to each other, so we can actually rewrite this right-hand side as the sum of the two masses times the final velocity. 
And since it's just one final velocity, we don't have to distinguish what kind of final velocity it is. So let's go through these steps, plugging in some of the numbers to find out the final velocity. All right, so we see here that it's just the total mass times the final velocity. That's gonna be our final momentum. That's gonna be equal to the original momentum, our initial momentum. So to find this final velocity, all we have to do is divide both sides. By this mass, and then we get to the end here that the velocity final of both these balls together is gonna to be 15.36 meters per second. So overall, this problem is actually a little easier, the second part, because we actually get to combine some of these terms together when stuff collides and sticks. This is a special kind of collision called an inelastic collision, which hopefully we've learned a little bit more about in the lab and we'll look a little bit more in the lab in the future. Uh, so we'll get some more practice with these kinds of problems. These are really the steps. We set it, the momentum's equal to each other, plug everything we know in, and solve what we're looking for. That's it. Thanks.